All right, this is no fancy video. This is no cool effects telling you to sign up for our development center because this is real. This is raw, and this is for the guys that say they want to play professionally. These are for the guys that say they do anything to play professionally, no matter where they play. They play for free and for breadcrumbs. I deal with those players all day. I have them in and out of the center, and I work extremely hard. I mean extremely hard just to give guys a chance. Now, let's get some stuff straight. And this is why I get so mad, and this is why I moved out of America, and I don't believe in the U.S. soccer system, not because of the relegation promotion and all the bullshit about how not really you get an opportunity. It really doesn't have anything to do with that. It has the fact to do with the system we create, the, the system we have creates spoiled brats from a young age. This pay-to-play is not the issue because the best players play for free. I ran a youth club. I, I get how it works. You, you attract the best players. They play for free, so it attracts more players so you can make more money. I get it. I get how the youth system works in America. But we create fake, fake footballers because youth clubs have the most amazing jerseys. They have everything. They have their little cool water coolers and their little benches and all the equipment, and they look like they're professional. And maybe one every five years actually, maybe one every 10 years actually goes professionally, but we act like, you know, the, the mission statement for all these youth clubs is, we're professional, we're this, we're that, bullshit. And what we do is we create a mentality where players need to be spoiled, and then it gets better. It gets better. They get a scholarship to go to college, to get a degree that they don't even use, Right, And then they come out of college and they want to be pros. And when they come out of college and be pros, they see the NBA, the NHL, and all these leagues. And they're like, I can make millions. But the reality is no one knows who their name is. And they're going to have to go play for breadcrumbs and make a name for themselves. And they don't realize a lot of the pro clubs, even in America, don't have the facilities or the money their university has. Because those universities are a scam. If you really want to talk about a scam. But you pay $60,000 a month, uh, uh, $60,000 a year, some even higher, okay? to basically party and feel like you're in this amazing world. But it's nothing like the real world, nothing. So when I get the players in and I give them a contract for $500 a month plus housing and food, $1,000, zero money, but I get their career started, the players aren't thinking about, shit, I got my career started. They hear my story and they're like, I, I play for anything, I just gotta make a name for myself. They worry about everything. And they don't hear, they hear, I slept in airports, I played for free. Rio Maryland in the USL didn't pay me a salary. I was starting every game like a captain, helped them to the USL semifinals, didn't get paid a dollar. They came back the next year to give me $200 a month when everyone was making 1000 to 1500 a month. They don't get that. I just, I, I played because I love it and I do this because I love it. But I get so many players in and I see them walk in with their jewelry. I see them come in with their nice socks, their nice shoes. I see them like, ah, I don't know. And I'm like, you don't want to be a pro. You like the image of feeling like a professional. You like to look at the Chelsea, Arsenal, Dortmund players and you see what they're wearing, the air haircut they have. And you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that I can have that, but I'm not going to play at their level. And I'm not willing to make the sacrifices to get to their level. So I rant about this because it drives me absolutely insane. And I speak to players every day. And this is the problem. You, you guys listen to the Spencer Molers, and no disrespect to Spencer, but he's a spoiled white kid that went to IMG that had everything. IMG has, if you can't make it as a pro in IMG, then what are you doing? What are you honestly doing? It gives you all, you look at the, you look at the kids who come from nothing that make it, and then the kids who have everything at their universities and, and, and at these programs, and they don't make it. You wanna know why? Because the hunger that this kid has the hunger that this kid has, it doesn't matter if he's playing on rocks or a beautiful grass field, he's going to play. But what we do to this kid is we create an environment where he's got to play in a beautiful field. If it's not perfect, I'm not playing. If it's not at this level, you know, some of the best players in the world come from Colombia, Argentina, the, the, the slums. They'll play for nothing. They'll sleep on a train for three days just to get a trial. That's the only money they have and their family has is that little money. To pay for the train ticket? So if you're really an inspiring professional and you're on Instagram posting videos of you dribbling through cones and you got the newest Nike shirt on and you're like, you know, you're drenched in sweat and it looks amazing, the fuck are you doing? 
You're not knocking on any doors. No one knows who you are. When an opportunity presents itself, you worry about everything outside the game. And I get mad because I deal with these players all day and I love them because I really want to give them something I never had. But you have to understand this rant. You have to feel this rant. Like, ah, you know, I, I get players and this it just happened because I got a play or something and it's like everything else matters. Everything else matters. I work hard to, they don't have a, the players I work with, they've played in college, NISA, MPSL, UPSL, some even USL 1 or USL 2. No one knows who you are. No, no country, even a small country like Costa Rica and Iceland, they have no idea what USL is. Like, you're going to be in the shit. You're not going to go and make 2000 to $30,000 a month right away. You can, it's, but it's so rare. You're going to have to play for peanuts, and no one's going to know who you name. No one's going to know who you are, and you got to prove yourself. Ah, man, I, I can... It, it bothers me, man. And I see these YouTubers talk about, oh, well, this is how my career went, and then, no, you're still looking for a fucking club. And, and, you, and if you really talk to a USL player who hasn't been in the league long, they're not, they're not getting treated like kings. It's the ones who've been in the league, proved themselves, get an MLS call up, and then come back down to have a decent salary. But the reality is the grind is fucking real, man. You might have to go to a country. I mean, I look at, I have so many friends, and uh, Tom Richardsinski is my favorite. You know, he, he played for the Canadian national team. I mean, his desire was ridiculous. And Tomer told me a story about when he was in Moldova and he went there and they didn't even have doors or windows on the apartment. He grinded it out. And it, I mean, the career this guy's had, he's going to play for some of the top clubs in Israel, Sweden. But do you know what he went through? And then you got guys on YouTube that are like, no, this is bullshit. I got paid $300 for the year. Yeah, but you wore a cool gear, right? You felt like a pro. You are on social media, like, I'm amazing. No, I want, listen, if, listen, if you want to come here, you want to come play for me, and we're going to have a pro club one day, I want guys that don't give a shit about the salary. They give a sh shit about putting this on every single day, and the salary will come. Because I want to create a culture where guys who are hungry are rewarded. And guys understand the realities of the game. I'll say that again. Guys understand the realities of the game. You're at the bottom one day, you're at the top the next. You're at the top one day, you're at the bottom the next. That's what I want. So if you're an aspiring player and you listen to this rant, nobody knows who you are, no one gives a shit about you. You're gonna have to go play for peanuts. You're gonna have to spend money on tickets, trials, whatever, to learn, to knock on doors, to get the door shut in your face. So please, sit down tonight, look in the mirror, and have an honest conversation with, my, with yourself. Have an honest conversation with yourself. Am I willing to do anything? Spend money, play for free, live in cockroach freaking apartment to make a name for myself. And it's okay if you're not, but stop posting like you're about to grind because the grind is being in the gutter and coming out of it. The grind is doing anything to make it. The grind isn't waiting in your pretty little house, dribbling around cones saying, oh, well, I'm good enough. Nobody gives a shit if you're good enough. Nobody gives a shit. Football's full of politics. It's not fair. So tonight, look yourself in the mirror as you're chasing a dream and say, what am I about? Am I an Instagram professional footballer and am I, or am I a real professional fo footballer that loved it for the right reasons? That reason to put on a shirt that means something. They wear the crust, crest over your heart for a reason. Cause it's just a privilege to play this game. And I'll tell you what, we're ruining the culture of football. And, and you guys can say, no, we're not. We are, because it used to be about, I'm not leaving my club. I'm playing for this club. It used to be about, I just love the game. I play in anywhere. We talk, it's funny, you hear people say, oh, if you go to the streets of Africa, you see these players. Yeah, do you know that's what they have? And they're grinding every day on those streets, doing the same drills you're doing on a beautiful grass field to get out of it. So you got to compete with that. And their hunger is a lot more than your hunger because they come from shit. So I'm sorry. I mean, I just get crazy because I help players all day. I'm, listen, I'm on the phone constantly with, got, with clubs trying to push my players to go somewhere. And then I get them somewhere and they're like, 
and you're gonna get paid no money, but you're gonna get housing and food. But no one knows who you are, so you gotta make a name for yourself. The same thing I did. And I wasn't a millionaire, but boy, I made some good money in my career. And you know what happens? When the shit hits the fan and they're ready to sign a contract for housing and food, what happens? They're like, I don't know. Nobody knows who your name is. You wanna go play MPSL? You wanna go play there for a year? Be cool, be sitting with your girlfriend? That's no problem. But don't say you love the game and you wanna reach the highest level. Cause you're not gonna reach the highest level playing MPSL. Or even USL 2, I mean, maybe USL 1, maybe. But Jesus Christ, man. And again, everyone's roadmap's different. So if my rant, if your rant, if my, if my rant is wrong to you because you want to play in those leagues, no, listen, that's, that's, I respect that. That's where you want to go. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't sit saying you want to play at the highest level possible, at the highest level possible. And when something comes your way that's going to be good for you in the future, you turn it down because it's not what you want right now. Don't talk about the, listen, it, it goes like this. You can take the easy road, but then it gets harder. Or you take the hard road and you go through the hardship and then the road gets easier. It's up to you. So rant over. Sometimes I just got to vent. So thank you for listening. Have a good day.